Should the Chicago Bulls focus be on adding or developing their next superstar? Let's talk about it starting now. Now, if you are new to the channel, please like the video. Please subscribe to the page because we do talk Chicago sports weekly. We don't want you to miss a thing, so make sure that you hit that bell. Now, if you've been a fan of the channel or if you've just been a fan of the Bulls at all, you know that the Chicago Bulls made some splashes at the trade deadline, right? Bringing in Nikola Vucevic, bringing in some other good talents like Aminu, Troy Brown Jr. that you can really put around Zach Levine to build this team up. But it still seems like the Bulls might be a star away. We'll have to see based on one game. You know, you can't really get any information from that. But to compete in this East, especially with what the Brooklyn Nets are doing, over there just they, they paying people out of the national budget i'm convinced because i don't know where they're finding money for literally the 2010 all-star team over here but anyway but anyway are you still a star away is what the chicago Bulls have to be thinking right you you have to find the a way to make the talent on your team the best it is so uh, my question to you today and that really is just my question to the bulls team do you focus more on adding the big name free agent trying to or developing and really there's a couple of uh, I, I, of course of course when you when you go through this you think why not both right why not both and I'll explain to you and give you a couple examples of why not both, um, because it'll change kind of what you do. Um, so to me, if I'm looking at this Chicago Bulls team, you, you say, why not both? Why can't you add and develop uh, your future stars? And to me, I look at teams like Golden State or kind of what the Lakers did. You have to pick a direct path and that leads you to a promised land. Either one can, has the ability to lead you to that championship promised land. But to me, you have to pick that path now before you head in that direction. Now with the acquisition of Nikola Vucevic, the Bulls are kind of in a win now type of mode. So you would think that they would want to have that talent sooner than later. But you have to look at the roster that you have and look at the pieces that you drafted and say, do I have the pieces in place for these pieces to be stars while Vucevic is still in his prime? Because if you take that development route, you really want to get players in here that help develop the talent that's on your team. So if you were to go to the, the development route, you're kind of thinking more along the lines of uh, I'm going to get a point guard in here, which they'll, they'll still need a point guard either way. But I'm going to get a point guard in here who's just going to be able to put my guys in a position to be better. To, 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 to maximize their talent. I'm going to go out and get a Lonzo Ball or I'm going to go out and get a, 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 a Drew Holiday, a Jeff Teague, or you know what I'm saying? Somebody who literally is just out there kind of playing that Rajon Rondo role, what he's going to do out in LA now. And literally just, I'm, I want to set my teammates up so that they have the best success that they can have, which is fine, right? Which is fine because if you're looking at that route, that means you believe that the picks you've made are going to be very talented picks. And so so you believe that when Semenovich gets over here with Pat Will, who's already on this team, you believe that these guys are going to be the next level of Chicago Bulls basketball. And they're kind of going to bring the guys who are currently on the team along with them for the ride. That, that Kawhi Leonard effect that he had down in uh, uh, San Antonio where, you know, he was kind of on the coattails. They did some things to continue his development while they still had a successful team. And then all of a sudden he's the face of the team and not the guys that are there. But I just believe you have to move different if that's the route you want to take which look look at the golden state warriors the development route absolutely works they won their first championship based on developing working with guys that they got in their system working with guys that they got into their building who were finally able to to break through the hump break through the struggles that they were going through from seasons before and finally be able to capitalize in on a championship run and and they did that with guys that literally draymond green clay thompson stephen curry guys that they developed harrison Barnes that they got into their system and worked with and took to that next level and so you have to you, you it, it absolutely works it, it's a route that absolutely works but it takes a little bit longer and so I, I to me I wonder kind of how long the Bulls are looking to wait to get to that next step because you want to be competitive now right you want to be a competitive team right now but do you want to be a competitive team 
championship wise or do you want to be a competitive team we're a team that people have to worry about in the east but we're not where we want to be yet we're going that direction but we're not there yet because we're trying to develop this young talent that we have on our team now before i continue with the video i want to know you guys opinion let me know in the comments below do you think the bulls should focus more on development or adding that big name free agent. I'll be down there talking with you in the comments as well. Now, when we're talking about adding a free agent, adding that big name in the market, the Bulls are coming in estimated at about 24 million cap. I mean, they can move that number up and down depending on who they keep, who they let go, things like that. But they're estimated right now to have about 24 million cap going into next season, um, which is good, which is good. You've got money to move. I mean, the Bulls are now an attractive place to come. I think if I think if you're a if you're a smaller market free agent and you're thinking, "Okay, I want to make my name in one of the biggest markets in the NBA that's moving in the right direction and has young talent that's going to understand where I'm coming from has young talent that's going to be uh, excited to work with me in the room. Okay, let me see about Chicago. And so I, you have to give Arturis credit and Mark Eversley credit for that because they've really uh, turned Chicago in one season from what I think a lot of players believed is, first off, is cold. Second off, they're not doing things the right way. Why would I want to go there? Why would I want to be there? And Jim Boylan's that why would I want to be there? In one offseason, you've turned it from that to, oh my God, is that Billy Donovan over there? Zach Levine, he's a potential superstar in the making. We got Vucevic over there now. Oh man, that bench is nice. I, I can have a nice little rest too if I'm coming over there. You turn Chicago from a swamp into Shangri-La and so you have to credit them for that. So I think that there will be a market for the Chicago Bulls to go out and get a player. You, we already know that there's players that have expressed interest in coming to the Chicago Bulls, Lonzo Ball being one of those players. And so are you looking to go out and get a big name free agent? Try and push all your chips into the game early while you've got, I mean, Vooch is 30, Zach Levine 26, 25, 26, somewhere in there. And, and so to me, uh, you, you, you have a team that is ready to win now but they might be a couple of pieces short. Can you go out and push your chips in and get those pieces into Chicago? But I think the tough part for AK is, I think about how the Los Angeles Lakers kind of did it. Uh, and, and you don't want to regret. You don't want to regret losing the talent that you had. And I asked, I asked uh, 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 Pete Kidd this on the show, and I think Ringo was in here as well, is the one ring that the Los Angeles Lakers got worth the future talent that they let go? or the future talent that they didn't choose to develop. Because when you think about talent development, okay, we go out and get a, a big name free agent. Kawhi Leonard comes to Chicago. I'm not saying that he's coming. I'm not saying that that's, that's what, got, but, but he's a free agent next season. Kawhi Leonard comes to Chicago. What does that now do to the development of P. Will? You could say, well, he's playing behind Kawhi. That would help his development. He'd be able to move into that next level. He'd be more uh, molded into that next step. But we've seen that backfire, right? We've seen that backfire. We think about uh, uh, Kyle Kuzma with the Los Angeles Lakers. Kyle Kuzma was doing things that Jason Tatum was doing well before Jason Tatum was in that position to do them. All of a sudden, LeBron comes to town, and that, that fit just doesn't mesh as well anymore. That trajectory, now, does he still fit with the team? Yeah, but not as the, as the same player that he was growing into when he was there early on and then you look at the talent that they moved out over there in LA Lonzo Ball he's going to be up for a, a, a nice size contract coming into free agency Brandon Ingram out there hoping right now Josh Hart still a pretty good talent down in New Orleans with Lonzo uh, you think of uh, Jordan Clarkson he's he's going to be sixth man of the year right now so you think about if you had actually developed all this talent while it was on your team instead of just going out and getting the big name fish Anthony Davis LeBron James. Now look, it got you a ring. Absolutely, it got you a ring. But those guys are older. What does your future look like? LeBron James, older. And he doesn't have 10 years left, even though he still looks like he does. He doesn't have 10 years left in this league. What does your future look like with, with Anthony Davis and not as much talent as you would have had in the other situation? And so that's kind of what the Bulls have to take into account in this situation. Can the Bulls go out and find that big name free agent, but not take away from the development of players that are on that team? I think if it were me, if I'm sitting in AK situation, um, I, the biggest thing for me is focusing on player development because I think that that's going to help you in the long term. And so with that, I think you go out and you find somebody that can put your players in the best position to be successful. Now, listen, uh, there there is the rare case where you can double up. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, where, where you can get a guy in here who not only adds to development, but also is technically a big name. And I think that name could be somebody like a Chris Paul. Uh, if you can go out and get Chris Paul to be convinced to come to Chicago for a season, he's only on that one year deal out in Phoenix. That's a name where you get somebody in who absolutely, one, already knows how to run Billy's system, but two, is already in a position where my job here is not to score 25 a night. My job here is to set the people up that can score 25 a night on a consistent basis. And I want to develop this young player in Patrick Williams. I want to develop uh, this, this young man off of the bench in Kobe White. I think those are the moments where you look at it and say, okay, uh, I can do both here. I can go get the big name guy who's absolutely going to put us in a position to win and I can focus on player development. So if that option is available, you do it do it i'm not saying uh, just chris paul but if you have that option available for a player where you can kind of do both at the same time do it but to me i think that p will is going to be a star in this nba and we have to focus on developing him and i know there's a lot of people that are like pat he's not aggressive he's not doing it i i, I get it I get it. I need to see more from him. I absolutely need to see more from him. But in the games when we've seen him do more, in the games where we've seen him literally say, I'm going to the bucket and there's nobody that's going to stand in my way, there seems to be nobody that can stand in his way. So hopefully uh, you focus on developing the mindset of that and also putting a little bit of weight on my guy and turning him into that attack kind of player, that Kawhi Leonard type of attack player where, hey, look, I'm going to the bucket and if you stop me, you stop me, but you ain't going to stop me that i think that you could have your third potential star in the building already um to me going out and getting a guy you're spending that money i'm not saying if a great name makes itself available you don't go get them but to me i'm more about development and, and doing things because i think that makes you a better team in the long term you know what I'm saying? Like the Brooklyn Nets, the team that they're building right now, it looks crazy, right? They might get a championship this season. It looks crazy what they're doing over there in Brooklyn. But past this season and the seasons down the line, that team is going to come crashing hard back to earth. And this is kind of how Brooklyn operates, you know? When they made the trade for Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett and they were trying to get everybody in there just to make the team relevant, this is how Brooklyn operates. We're going to go get those big names. We want those big fish. We're, we're going to go a uh, free agency route over the player development route. But does that speak to long-term success, which is what I want the Chicago Bulls to have. I want that long-term success. And so if it were me, I would go more the player development route than I would uh, going out to get a big name for agent. But listen, if Anthony Davis say, I want to come home, go get him. <laughs> but as always, I want to know how you guys feel. Let me know in the comments below. I'll be down there talking with you as well. To continue watching our Chicago Bulls content, click the links here or check the links in the description below. It is your boy Pat the Designer back at it again. Y'all stay safe out there, Chicago. Peace.